Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. In this video, we're going to present you with the uh, GDI uh, or Common Rail Direct Injection CRDI Piso Injector Tester. Uh, this unit, uh, it's a high voltage unit that uh, ranges from about 90 volts to 120, 125 volt, uh, which is plenty to test uh, whatever kind of uh, piezo injector that you could have, either diesel or gasoline. The GDI uh, CRDI piezo injector tester uh, pulser uh, unit has a couple of controls that we're going to discuss in another, another video. Um, so these controls are briefly presented here uh, and they allow you to change uh, the, the pulse width of the injector. Uh, also you can change the voltage, the high voltage, uh, and you can also either pulse, uh, continuously turn on uh, the pulsing uh, feature or uh, with the, the button that you see there if you, you want to do a leak down. There's another offset um, control that you're going to see on the lower uh, uh, left hand side. Uh, this particular uh, control for the offset is for the current probe uh, that's built in into the unit on the plus unit. This unit, uh, the same as the GDI uh, magnetic injector tester that we also have, has two built-in probes inside. One is a current probe um, that basically it's, it's just a current probe. It, 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 it allows you to see uh, the actual current waveform. Uh, from the inside, so that way you don't have to clamp on. Uh, there's no need for a clamp on. It, it has an output at the top, of a BNC output at the top uh, for yeah, for the uh, for the current. And there's uh, on the side also you uh, you could see the, uh, the these two little uh, terminals that you see on the side. That's a 10 to 1 attenuator for the voltage output. So it gives you a current output and it gives you a voltage output. Remember, this is high voltage, so you don't want to put you know 100 volts or not even 90 volts into your scope. Uh, you could do it, but it's kind of dangerous, and you could blow your um, your PC if, if it's a uh, a, a PC-based uh, or laptop-based uh, oscilloscope, or your actual handheld oscilloscope, whichever you happen to have. Following, you can see the mated connector, the high-voltage uh, connector uh, output connector for the uh, uh, for the CRDI tester. Uh, it, it only goes one way. Uh, these these injectors are pretty long. They're they're, to they're different than the magnetic direct injectors. Uh, they operate between uh, 90 to uh, some of them are at 200 volts. Uh, our unit goes between 90 and 120 volts that's enough, uh, to test these injectors. There's, uh, there's only two outputs, in other words, two leads that go to the, uh, to the injector. Uh, it is uh, uh, polarity, uh, uh, so check polarity, positive and negative. Um, so it's, it's a pretty straightforward unit to use. Now here you can see the um, uh, the voltage adjustment. Now these injectors, uh, as you've probably heard, you know they are uh, controlled on both leads. So in other words, they're they're con the positive side is the one that pulses. The negative side does not pulse. However, it is switched on and off by the ECM. So in other words, if you want uh, to pulse injector number three, uh, the negative side turns on for number three, and the positive side pulsates. Okay. Uh, if if you want injector number seven to uh, to uh, to turn on, then the ECM will turn on uh, the uh, low side uh, so transistor driver uh, for that particular cylinder, and it pulsates the positive side. That's pretty much the, the the negative side. The only the only reason for it it's just it's just to uh, select the particular injector. Uh, the positive side is the one that actually does the pulsing. Later on, we're going to study in details uh, the uh, anatomy of uh, of a piezo injector. Uh, uh, waveform, and this is going to be covered on, an, on another video. Now in our unit there's no need to select a specific cylinder since this particular unit only tests one injector at a time. So there's no, the negative side always stays uh, negative. 
pretty much. And then it is the positive side, the one that pulses. So, uh, but, but basically that's, a, you know, the difference uh, between this particular unit and what you would see uh, on your car, uh, whereby the negative side is the one that switches, uh, is the injector, the cylinder selector, uh, and the positive side is the one that actually does the pulsing. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on hands video, and how-to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishings, Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.